Hey. Um, I've been meaning to do an update for a long, long time because I realize it's been a long, long, long time since I um, uploaded any more videos for the In The Boardroom series. And so much has happened since the last one. It's, it's kind of crazy. Um, where did we even leave off last? It was before Christmas. Um, I was still trading out of my spare room. <clears throat> so a good five months have passed. And... Yeah, it was definitely before Christmas, wasn't it? Anyway, <clears throat> we now have a um, proper commercial uh, place to operate out of. Um, moved in on the 1st of April. Um, the eBay account is doing great. Um, we really started putting time into that since January. And now it's at a stage where um like at first i was going to the post office to post orders there were maybe <clears throat> five five or ten orders a day um and and now there's a lot more than that um royal mail collect well royal mail will be collecting at the moment uh we we're dropping the bags off to the sorting office uh, it's difficult at the moment with the coronavirus to get a hold of anyone to arrange a collection and regular collections uh, but uh, they've emailed me to say they'll be calling me in the next sort of five days to make that happen um, yeah so we've got a credit account now with with Royal Mail and and um, you can see from the feedback that people are leaving on eBay that the service is so much quicker now because we just print off the prepaid sticker. Well, not prepaid, they're not prepaid. We pay them on 30 days, but <clears throat> we generate the labels in-house, which are then invoiced at the end of the month. <clears throat> but we generate the labels, stick them to the orders. We've now got um, labels and invoices on one sheet uh, so whereas before I was like popping the eBay invoice in the order, but cutting out the address with scissors and then sellotaping it to the outside, which doesn't look very professional, does it? Let's be honest. And it's very time consuming, but you have to, you know, do these things to start out, don't you? Um, so that's done now. So like today, for example, there were uh, 85 orders going. Um, now month or so ago that would have taken me best part of the morning or maybe even the day to pack um, I did that in about an hour today maybe an hour and a half if you include all the printing and stuff um, so that's great that's good and also you know whereas before when we first started selling on eBay perhaps I was just listing things with minimum um, margin to just like see what was said and what wasn't. I was using it as feedback for offers on wholesale. Um, so now that I've been doing that for a while, I'm getting a better idea of what sells, what doesn't, and the market value of the products. And obviously, you know, I've been doing this for a long time, but I also um, had like an eight, six to eight month period where I wasn't able to trade in the industry. So, you know, it's nice to, and so much changes in that time, you know, the new releases come out, prices of the games change, of course. Um, <clears throat> so it's great to be able to buy stock with some confidence now. And also be able to buy stock and hold it confident to know that I can sell it at a certain price. Um, and make, it, it helps make quick and easy, you know, decisions when you get offers now, when I get offers now on wholesale, I can look at things and say yes or no, or I can go back with a, with a price that I think is fair. 
or a price that is value to me. Um, and it's just, you know, these, deci these decisions come easier as you learn more and as you go on. Um, so that's going well. I've got an accountant now. Who appears to know what he's talking about. At least he's uh, he's proactive. Um, and a lot better than my previous accountant. So hopefully that... I mean, like he's actually involved and he's telling me things that I didn't know, which the other guy wasn't. Um, so I'm grateful for that. Um, explaining... Whereas before I was using cost of goods sold for everything, um, he's uh, explained inventory sales and stuff like this. So it's good to be learning, good to be taking new things on board, um, and uh, it's good to know that <laughs> the accounts are looking a lot healthier than they were before. And because I was putting everything as cost of goods sold, even though I uh, hadn't sold it. Uh, rather than putting it on inventory. Um, so whereas before, like, the company was showing us uh, making a profit of, like, two grand or something, um, you know, almost overnight that went up to 35 grand. So that sounds good to me. <laughs> all all uh, learning experiences. Um so yeah i mean like ebay's really taken off um and i think once once the whole corona thing is out of the way you know we've, now that i've got a commercial property as well i'll try and take someone on i've been told that there's a government scheme where they you know for small businesses businesses in my sort of um I don't know what the word is. Um, with my, the business, our business, the, cri the criteria of this scheme, shall we say, um, there's an opportunity where we could take someone on and the government pays half a wage, which would be fantastic. I mean, there's all sorts of risks involved when you uh, employ someone, especially when you're in a position like mine where um, perhaps I pay myself a very basic wage, um, less than probably what other people would be willing to work for. And I have to sort of put that to one side and pay a competitive rate for someone. But like, you know, if I employ a female and in a month's time they're pregnant, what can I do? <laughs> That's and then like back to doing two people's work, but also paying for the privilege of having a member of staff. Um, you know, same thing applies if they go on sick or you know don't turn up for whatever reason, um, or just drag their heels. It's so difficult to get rid of people. Um, once they're in. That um, so you have to be very, very careful. Not to say like that. This sounds like I'm being very negative about the prospect. I'm not. Um, I'm really looking forward to it. I'm. I'm really looking forward to starting the process and 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 hopefully sifting through people and finding someone suitable. It's important to me that it's someone who wants to learn, who. Um, yeah, you know, part part of uh, wanting to have a business is like I want to mentor people with this shit. You know, I want to I want to help people progress, and you know, whoever comes on board in the end, whatever their goal is, I want to help them achieve that, whether that's with us or not. That's completely fine. Like, I want to put a plan in place. And, you know, if they want to do sales, you know, if they start, you know, everyone has to, whoever it is is going to have to start off doing eBay stuff, packing orders, some invoicing maybe, I don't know. Um, 
But if, you know, long term they want to do wholesale sales, yeah, brilliant, no problem. If they want to start their own business, yeah, no, no problem. You know, we'll help, definitely help them towards that and put in plan in place. Like, one thing I'm not going to do is try and keep people in a box. Or say, no, no, you can't do this, you can't do that. You know, that's really important to me. So, I'm looking forward to that. Um, I think next step is to uh, start selling on Amazon. Obviously, sales on the volume of sales on Amazon is higher than eBay, so we're gonna have to get that started. Um, at some point, that all integrates into Royal Mail's um, click and drop dashboard as well, just like eBay. So um, there shouldn't be any problems with like printing your orders and stuff that should be very straightforward once it's set up which should you know the, the bit there will be going through the application with Amazon to get listed there in the first place um, and the fact that they don't pay you for two weeks that'll be a problem but oh, excuse me. <clears throat> But once it's up and running, it'll be great. Um, especially come Christmas time. So that's something to look forward to and uh, crack on with. Um, retail's been so busy that I haven't done as much as I would like on wholesale at the moment. Um, but again, that's something we can do in the next couple of weeks been huge moves um, with Corona and everything there's been huge like per personal changes as well so changes in personal life so <clears throat> it's funny like every time you get like a bed inning period something changes and then you're like okay bit of maintenance no something changes but this is this is what you sign up for right you know um, You've got to be a problem solver. That's it, ultimately. Problem solver with high tolerance levels <laughs> for both ends. And sometimes there are days where people where it, feel, it feels like everyone's just trying to get in your way. Uh, but, you know, you just take it on the chin and move forward. Um... Is there anything else at the moment? Ooh. <clears throat> the media side of things is something that I'm really keen to crack on with. Right? I want I want streaming, I want a podcast with like daily news or something. I want uh, you know, roundups, previews, trailers, reviews. There's so much that you can do with this category and there's so much content you can create I'm really looking forward to getting started with that but at the moment again with coronavirus I can't get any internet installed in the office so I'm working off my phone at the moment which isn't ideal um, I've just got my phone hooked up to the computer so like my computer has an internet connection but it's via the phone right so it's just like it's 3G it's not even 4G Never mind 5G, right, and all that conspiracy bollocks. Um, it's 3G. <laughs> uh, and I can't get any internet installed until June the 1st, which is uh, five weeks away. So um, all content creation is going to be on hold until then. There's no point trying to do anything until I have an internet connection in there at all but once once that's up and running I'll be spending a lot more time in the office because at the moment I'm just like using it uh, to pack orders and and stuff and get deliveries and that but I want to I want to change like sort of half of the office and have that half sort of focused on media and then sort of like sales the other half um, but that's where we're at 
Uh, I don't know when I'll do another one of these. I should at least make them weekly, shouldn't I? Give us some context to what's going on. But hey, this is better than nothing.